Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about Azure DevOps Projects Overview. Um, if you don't have any experience with Azure DevOps or you don't know what it is, I recommend to watch my previous videos where I, I gave a pretty high overview uh, of the Azure DevOps components. Uh, so let's start. Um, how to create a project? I um, already have this organization created and I'm going to create a new project and this project is going to name it uh, Project Overview. Uh, let's say learning and you can create a public. Uh, be careful with that one because everyone on the internet or access to the Azure DevOps has access to will have access to your project so I'm going to keep this one private um, in this case you have uh, we're going to talk about only this section Azure overview and related with projects and in the first page you will see a welcome projects and then you can see you have board repos pipelines just plan um, all this our uh, services and we don't have any project start because we don't have anything in this project already but maybe in future videos we can check back and see we have a lot of insights or information here like uh, how many were items how many uh, bills um, that kind of things um, pretty uh, detailed information about your project is doing and so far I'm the only member of this team uh, so that's pretty enough um, in, the, in, the, in the summary, uh, let's talk, if you want to change anything here, like say your managed services, you can go here and you will see the project configuration. Everything really with the project is here. We're going to focus only on these videos on the overview part. Uh, let's say you can change your name, the project name here. Um, we can keep it in that way or we can add uh, beta maybe. And then you can provide short description. Uh, short description of the project the projects and also you can change the process what is the process the process is uh, how are you gonna what kind of methodology your process you're gonna use uh, by default I should provide a default one that is basic but you can use if you want to check your options here um, I should uh, give you an idea what is the basic one and what is it what kind of work items do you have you have epic issue and task but if you want to change it, um, you can see here this uh, process, the one that you're using right now is basic, is by default, but you can change it to a screw, CMI, whatever. Uh, let's say uh, you want to use this one. And then you can see, okay, I want to use this one because it has more what kind of work items like box, epics, feature, that kind of things. And then you will see there's no project at, uh, at all assigned to that one. Um, also in the backlog, they give you more details about what you can do, how do you can see in the backlog, it's going to be histories, etc. So if we go back to our, uh, let's say we have to go back to our organization, the project learning, and let's go back to project configuration. So we are here, uh, we don't want to change that one. You can change the public here or private, that's fine. Uh, you will get, a, you would take, uh, couple of seconds is not a big deal let's keep it in private you can add more administrators if you want some people uh, add this is for availability in the service you if someone is out for a day maybe two get six you can add multiple people to handle this and also all the services here are really flexible so suppose you are using your you don't want to use any artifact because you are using other kind of artifacts uh, for your uh, products um, you don't want to enable this one maybe you don't need the test plans because you don't worry about that one you go pretty easy so far you're gonna go just the board the repos on the pipeline you can keep it in that way and if you check again your project overview you will see those are not anymore there are not available so you can handle that kind of thing you can go this way or you can go through project settings either way you will get to the same page and uh, let's say um, that's pretty everything for the overview let's say we want to delete this project we don't want this project anymore right and you have to copy just for confirmation or type it whatever you want and delete the project and that's it you don't have that project anymore what happens is you want to bring back that project what happens is you forgot something or in that project that you want to check you have 28 days uh, to do that so you can go to you can go to organizations and under overview in your organization you will see the recently deleted projects so you can bring back that project with a restore 
and if you go to your organization project you will see that project is there and also with the configuration you're left uh, with a, only the service you uh, enable at that specific moment that's pretty everything for that specific session uh, in my next video we will talk uh, I will be talking about teams um, thank you if you have any questions related with project configuration anything that I miss it and you have questions concerns about it let me know in the comments um, I will I will be happy to answer any questions have a wonderful day